All right, so instead of giving stories that are usually serious in nature, I'm going to tell you about 1999, my basic combat training in the U.S. Army, okay? I got deployed from San Diego over to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. We called it Fort Lost in the Woods, Misery. But anyways, it's basic combat training. It's not supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be vacation. It's supposed to be stress training, making sure that you can handle a real combat situation. Anyway, so we're in these old World War II barracks, right? They're like three stories tall, um, a super old school, uh, big, large bay areas that you would see in the movies where they've got like eight bunk beds, 16 people, um, foot lockers in the front of the bunk beds where you can put your clothing or like a wall locker where you can hang your clothes. Um, open bay style, you know, with lots of soldiers in every room. And so that's the environment that you guys need to be aware of. So there's a lot of kids in there, right? They're, they're all boys in, in the barracks. Um, 18, 19, 20, right out of high school or maybe, you know, tried college and then decided they wanted to go in the military. But basically it's a lot of young kids, heads shaved, you know, scared. First time they've been away from mommy and they're in um, boot camp in a different state and they're, they're in a different environment they're not used to. They're having mean people yell at them and they're having hard time sleeping and right so so basic combat training was basically like three months it was like 90 days and halfway through basic combat training I heard this very suspicious chatter in the middle of the night and I could not tell what it was so like I, I turn on my flashlight and I'm looking around the room in the middle of the night and there's no chatter so then I turn off the flashlight the chatter comes back so I turn it on and the chatter goes away. So I wake up my, my bunk buddy like below me. I was like, hey, wake up, wake up. And he's like, what? And I was like, do you hear that? And the chatter goes away. A minute ago, there was no chatter. And now there's chatter again. He's like, I, I, I hear it. I hear it. I do. I hear it. So he sneaks over to the, to, the, to the wall switch by the doorway. And he turns on the lights. There's no chatter. We were like, what? the heck is going on night after night after night after night we can't figure it out now we've got everybody in the room listening for this chatter in the middle of the night and people are hearing it so we're not we're not imagining this it's real chatter in the middle of the night we can't identify it but we know that it goes away whenever a light comes on okay i figured it out i caught the guy guess what he was doing But that's not the funny part. The funny part is that when we caught him, <laughs> he was biting his toenails. This is like a 19-year-old kid fresh out of high school from like Wisconsin or something, right? And he is biting. He like he had he had his knee up, right? And his leg twisted and his foot with his toes in his mouth. And in the middle of the night, he was biting his toenails clean off of his feet. I hope he had clean feet. I doubt. I doubt he did. Being in the army, I doubt he had clean feet. But whatever. I ridiculed him. When we finally caught him, we, we taunted him. We teased him. We ridiculed this kid to the point where he was devastated, right? This kid was near tears. And the other guys in the room were like, no, no, it's cool, bro. Like, let's back off. Let's leave him alone. And I was like, no, like, let's get him. Right. I was just, I was, I was ruthless. That's not, I'm not a good person. There's a warm place in hell for me. Anyways, we finally let it go. We were picking on somebody else. You know, we were having bonding moments with other guys, whatever it is. We let it go. But did we? But did we let it go? No. So, months go by. We're getting ready to graduate, right? Getting ready to graduate. What do you think I did? 
So we're getting ready to graduate. We're saying goodbyes to everybody. Like, hey, I'm gonna miss you, bro. Let me get your phone number. Let me get your your address. I'll write you. Stay in touch. Keep in touch. Blah blah blah. Because we had bonded during these months of intense training, stress, sleep deprivation, teamwork. You know, like we had bonded to. You know, a lot of these guys. They're now our brothers. I love my brother, but I'm gonna tease the hell out of him, right? So when we're saying goodbye and everybody's present and everybody's there and everybody's paying attention, I said, let me get everybody's attention. And everybody's like, what, what do you want? And I was like, as a farewell gift to private so-and-so, everybody in the room, we all pitched in, we all contributed and we got you a snack on the way home. <laughs> I held up a Ziploc baggie with toenail clippings. I held up a Ziploc baggie full of toenail clippings. And I was like, on your air flight, on your airplane ride, on your flight home, in case you get hungry. <laughs> it was horrible because this kid literally just broke down crying, ran out the room. Nobody could stop laughing. The guys that were laughing, their faces were bright red, right? They were laughing so hard. Their stomachs hurt. Their face muscles hurt. It was it was probably one of the funniest things you've ever seen. The, the roar of everybody laughing could be heard like buildings down. It was the funniest thing ever. Oh, well. All right, that's my story for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully God forgives me. Because I don't think that guy will. But um, I'm going to tell you guys another story next time. And I will catch you later. Bye.